Hey everybody, I'm Blake, and today we're doing a review on the Beekman 1802 skincare system, specifically the milkshake, the milk drops, and the bloom cream. Do I love them all? Yes, I do. But I do have some cons. Let's get into it. So I've been using the milkshake, the bloom cream, and the milk drops for about four months now, and I love them all. Uh, I am so excited to tell you why, but first let's let's just get the negatives out of the way because unfortunately it does impact all of the products. I don't know what was going on in the Beekman factory when each of these came out, but unfortunately when I ordered a milkshake, the sprayer, let me do a close up for you. It's like a nice, it's like a very nice fine mist. I absolutely love the type of um, mist it produces, but let me see if I can zoom in. All right, you see how this has like, um, it just, it doesn't look empty, like it's full all the way around. I don't know, I don't know how to, like it's concave slightly to allow the mist to come out. But that's because I had to switch to a new top after I got a replacement bottle. So let me zoom in on this one. You see how this does not look the same? It's because there's like a little piece that goes inside that disseminates the mist, that is gone. So when I spray this one, ooh, I don't know if you, you see that? Now I have to clean my floors. So the mister broke, unfortunately. Um, but let's just show you how it should work. A nice, fine mist. All right, so that was faulty product number one. Faulty product number two is not as visual, but I have the large container of milk drops here. I just, I just switched to this new bottle because I ran out of the other. I go to use it. The dropper didn't work. The dropper didn't work at all. So I had to use my old dropper from the other bottle, which is fine. And um, I had thrown it in the garbage. So I'm glad I didn't take the garbage out or else I'd be screwed. Um, and unfortunately I bought this around the holiday season just proactively with the sales. So, you know, I don't know, again, two for two. Sprayer doesn't work, dropper doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. Last but not least, the bloom cream. Uh, this is supposed to bloom like a flower. So if you can see here, I'm sure you've seen images if you're on this video. Um, there are this, there is this flower shaped, uh, pump. And what's supposed to happen when you pump, right? So that is not exactly a flower. Now you might be thinking, oh, it's because you're holding it sideways. It does it no matter what. So it doesn't come out like a flower. I don't know what that's about. Uh, now I'll use this on the back of my hands to smooth them out. But I'm not really loving that the, the bottles are not working consistently, unfortunately. One more thing about the bloom cream. I do not like the bottle that it is in. I don't like this bloom thing. I don't need this surface to work with the other products or the drops. I just want like a traditional pump, which they do make. They do make it in the SPF version, which I will be switching to for summer. So that's not a problem there. Now let's get into what I love about the product. So as someone who has combination skin, and currently I live in upstate New York where it has been in the negatives and in general can get really dry in the winter, like a lot of places. I always had in my T-zone area, specifically right here, especially on top of my forehead, but in the T-zone area, I always had dry skin. No matter if I moisturized or not, if I did an exfoliator, like it was always dry and flaky right through here. Turns out I was not using the right products um, and I also wasn't moisturizing enough. But what I started to do was use the milkshake toner. So um, of the two, this is a brand new one. This is uh, a mostly used one. So this is called a milkshake because when you use it, you shake it up to blend the products together. Shake, 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 right? And then you spray it on your face. Now you can use this literally any time of day. I use it right after I get out of the shower um, as the first step in my skincare routine. You can use it as a midday refresh. You can use it to set makeup. Like really you can use this for whatever you want. Um, for the toner perspective, I love this because you do not need to wipe it off with a cotton pad, which is something that I don't really understand about a toner from other brands. Like why put something on to literally wipe it off? I don't get it. So this you just spray on. I'll do it again because I love it so much. So you just shake and spray. And the fine mist is so nice um, because you don't feel like you're dumping water on your face. So a couple things to point out about the milkshake is it's alcohol free, so it won't dry out your skin, which is great because we don't want any 
uh, moisture taken away from us. Um, and also it will help keep you hydrated and keep your skin balanced throughout the day, which again is phenomenal. That's what I needed. Maybe you do too. Next we have the milk drops. This is the second step in my skincare routine. And I do this after the toner dries. You do two to three drops of it on the entire face. And then you let this dry for two to three minutes. Usually I get dressed or get dressed, brush my teeth, and then I go to the step three, which is the bloom cream. We'll get there. But um, I absolutely love these. These have um, a probiotic in them, of course, a goat milk, and um, it's a serum. They say two to three drops of the milk drops. I'll do two as an example. But it's not like a runny serum, um, which is nice. And basically you just rub that in and that basically adds another layer of hydration in your uh, skincare routine, which is great. Truly kind of like a simple step. And I love this. It's clean. It doesn't really have too much of a scent. Um, it's not super floral or anything, which I do not love. Um, and actually across the whole system, there's not really an obtrusive fragrance, which is really nice. And a quick comparison of what you might get in a kit and or uh, if you want to travel with one, this is a 0.5 fluid ounce and this is a 0.95 fluid ounce. Last in the skincare routine is the Bloom Cream. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do have combination skin. So um, when I was using different products before, I would get so oily and I wouldn't understand why. I would try a gel cleanser thinking, oh, I just need less. Turns out, I needed more hydration and to me, just being someone who assumed a thick heavy lotion was the exact thing I didn't need, I was incorrect. Not that this is thick and heavy, but compared to the consistency or gels that I've been using in the past, I just assumed this was a no-go. However, I'm wrong. This provides super hydration. It is so great. Again, the fragrance is very minimal and um, it adds like a nice finishing layer when you're going about, you know, your skincare uh, regimen in the mornings or at night. I will say, again, I don't love the pump for this. I, you know, again, don't want to overuse too much product, um, but I really enjoy this. Uh, again, I don't really love the packaging. It's like weird. It's not necessarily easy to travel with um, just because it's like a big bottle. Um, same thing with the milkshake. This is not exactly convenient for travel, um, I have found that it does not leak, but after I've traveled and it's been like sideways and stuff, there is, you know, moisture around the bottom here to be expected, I guess, but I wish they could make something a little bit more convenient for travel because you can't exactly put this into a to-go bottle because it needs a special kind of mister and I don't wanna mess up the properties. Overall, I really enjoyed the Beekman 1802 skincare. I'm pleasantly surprised that it's continued to work. If you wanna try them out, you can find them at Ulta. They are considered a prestige brand, but also you can find them on their own website. I think it's beekman1802.com and their Instagram. Keep an eye out for a sale. They're always doing some type of sale, a discount, a live stream with a discount just for the people who watch. Just keep an eye on their social media and their website. You will find some sort of deal promise. But speaking of a deal, let's talk about next week's video where we're going to deal with the Dream Booster and the Smooth Booster serums. We're going to talk a little bit about how those work and we're going to do a deep dive into the dewy eye cream and we'll talk about the soaps that are available, the bar facial bar soap and the exfoliating scrub, which I gotta be honest, feels really funky. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. See you in next week's video. Bye!